Hey everyone, it's Bobby from Lyco Birds with another spring warbler warm-up video, and this one is going to cover northern water thrush. Now, of course, Louisiana water thrush is the primary confusion species, and vocalizations can definitely be a big help in distinguishing these two, but I'm going to focus on visual identification here. And in terms of structure, northern water thrush looks fairly compact with a relatively small bill and uh, kind of a small head compared to Louisiana water thrush's larger bill and just kind of uh, more front heavy appearance. And one of the most reliable plumage features to use would be the contrast between the eyebrow and this rear flank area. On northern water thrush, you'll typically see both of those areas and really the entire underside tinged in sort of a yellow color. So there's almost no contrast between this area here and this area here. And compare that to Louisiana water thrush, they typically have a much more pure white eyebrow, but then they have kind of a a pinkish color in the rear flank. So you can see there's a noticeable color difference between those two areas on this Louisiana water thrush. And it's better to take this approach rather than using color just on its own, um, especially considering that some northern water thrushes can have a lot less yellow tones throughout the body. So really you want to look at the contrast and um, if there's a difference in color, it's Louisiana water thrush. And if there's not really any difference in color, typically it's going to be northern water thrush. And another difference is on northern water thrush, typically the eyebrow is more narrow towards the rear as opposed to a more flared and kind of wider look on Louisiana water thrush. But you're going to want to use that with caution. Um, it's, angle can kind of change the perception of that. And one of the main things that's often mentioned with these species is the throat. Um, typically, northern water thrush is going to have more of dark spotting in the throat, as you can see here and also here, um, versus the cleaner throat that's more white on Louisiana water thrush. But again, use caution with that because that can also be variable. And in general, the streaking on northern water thrush is denser than the streaking on Louisiana water thrush. But again, that's something that you kind of have to build up some experience with. Uh, northern water thrushes also tend to have darker pink legs compared to the more bubblegum pink, kind of a brighter pink on Louisiana water thrush. And actually, I just recently published a similar video to this on Louisiana water thrush. So if you want to check that out to see sort of the, the same thing from the opposite perspective. Um, I'll leave a link to that in the description. And if you found this helpful, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.